Adam and Eve discovered for themselves that the age-old serpent, who is also called the devil or Satan, is truly a liar and the father of all lies. For though they became like God after eating the forbidden fruit, just as the Bible tells us God said in Genesis 3.22, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. They actually died, contrary to what the serpent had told them, because their disobedience separated them from their Creator, the Giver of life. They would have to live and suffer the consequences of their sin and pass it on to all the people of the world because all other people would come through them. What Adam and Eve failed to know when choosing to disobey God is that while God had given them the freedom to choose whether to obey Him or not, He had not given them the freedom to choose the consequences for their disobedience. His judgment was just and final, and it could not be reversed. But because God is patient and kind, His compassion still surrounded them, and He did not abandon nor leave them without hope. He left them with a promise of a Savior who would crush the serpent's head and win them over back to Him. Heavenly Father, Your justice demands that You punish sin, yet out of Your mercy, You don't give us what our sins deserve. As I consider the truth about Easter, help me understand that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift You offer is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, because your justice and mercy met at the cross where Jesus died. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.